In the early morning, the bays and woods of the Acadia National Park, located in the northeastern region of Maine in the United States, are hidden under a cloak of mist. Acadia is New England's only national park. As the mist subsides, visitors can enjoy the simple pleasure of experiencing nature at its best. The area that surrounds the delightful town of Bar Harbor has gradually developed into a region much favoured by tourists. The splendid landscape and numerous activities offered by the park attract both young and old alike. The importance of this magnificent landscape had already been recognised as early as the 19th century. Its crystal clear waters and deserted beaches attracted successful entrepreneurs and millionaires such as John D. Rockefeller. His financial contribution made the Acadia National Park possible. The park has become famous for its magnificent trees. The variety of warm colours of the foliage are closely related to the region's famed Indian summer. The best time to visit Acadia National Park is in late summer or early fall. This is the time when nature transforms the trees into a rich canvas of resplendent colour. Over a hundred years ago, New England's high society used Bar Harbour as their summer retreat. Some of these magnificent cottages and mansions can still be admired today. The mighty surf of the North Atlantic that pounds away at the rocky coastline is an impressive symbol of the unpredictable power of the sea. The close proximity of ocean and forest is one of the park's irresistible attractions in which the innumerable elements of nature shine out in spectacular colour. Acadia National Park is well known as a car-friendly environment. Several roads lead through the woodland areas.
Beyond the dunes of a picturesque sandy beach, the seemingly never-ending expanse of the Gulf of Maine extends over the horizon. Labrador Current drives icy water from the Arctic Sea to the New England coast. Acadia's rugged cliffs are a fascinating sight. Waves that roll onto the beach have a calm and natural rhythm. The automobile is not the only means of transport in the park. The environmentally friendly bicycle is also very popular. Acadia's nature reserve also contains an abundance of detailed information about its flora and fauna. And numerous signs point to places of interest. Large ferns in particular grow here in large numbers. The forest has an almost magical atmosphere. During fall, the season in which New England is at its most magnificent, the forests come alive with soft, warm colours. Beginning around the middle of September and continuing until the end of November, the brilliance of the Indian summer is a truly breathtaking experience. Natural phenomenon, the foliage always fascinates all those who see it. The Indian summer is the major attraction as it shows off the park in all its glorious finery. Even wild cotton bushes can be found in some sections of the park. Indian summer is a late summer warm weather period that also occurs in some parts of Eastern Europe. The entire landscape and vegetation of New England becomes completely transformed during this fifth season of the year. Each day on the coast of the Acadia National Park, an impressive geological phenomenon takes place at Thunder Hole, where the powerful surf smashes against the cliffs.
Thunder Hole is a further attraction. Onlookers seem almost awestruck when witnessing the relentless might of the Atlantic. And the occasional tourist is sometimes treated to an unexpected shower. From time to time, the thunderous noise of this coastline can be heard many miles away, and the incoming waves can reach an astonishing height. This unexpected sound of thunder emanates from a small cave within the granite cliffs. The cave is filled with air, and when the water floods in, it releases the air pressure with fantastic thunderous effect. The best time to experience this is between the tides. This dramatic natural performance of white spray and the crashing of waves is in stark contrast to the tranquil autumn ambience provided by the park's surrounding forests. Both four- and two-legged species seem to enjoy the picturesque scenery and glorious views of the Atlantic Ocean. For those who appreciate good cuisine, each day small fishing boats return to Maine with their cargo of fresh seafood, most notably lobster. Acadia is the perfect place to escape the hectic Russian tumble of everyday life and to appreciate the multifarious facets of nature offered by the park's idyllic terrain. scenic drive along Loop Road travels from coast to countryside and passes a picturesque and charming semi-timbered house, the Jordan Pond Gatehouse. Built by John D. Rockefeller in 1932, the building blends perfectly into the local environment. Adjacent is the tea house that offers splendid views of Jordan Pond.
Today, Gate Lodge is used to accommodate the park's employees. This is certainly a magnificent location to return to after a hard day's work in the park. Created from a glacier, Jordan Pond is relatively deep. At the north end of the pond, there are two round hills, the so-called bubbles. Close to each of the major roads that cut through the park, there are a multitude of tranquil places that provide undisturbed moments amidst the fascinating vegetation. A leisurely drive along the scenic loop road leads to the higher altitudes of the bubbles. Here, there's the marvellous and dramatic splendour of Bubbles Rock. of the bubbles are fascinating. From here, the vast landscape of the glowing forest below is even more impressive. The sight of Arcadia's infinite treetops intensifies an increasing feeling of admiration for this special protected wilderness. The journey continues along the exceptionally beautiful Loop Road. This scenic route was also made possible by the financial contributions of John D. Rockefeller Jr. The road that passes through each of the park's major sightseeing locations and attractions was built between 1925 and 1941. During the high season, a great number of cars and vehicles crawl up and down the winding roads. The drive is slow and relaxing. No need to speed.
Photographers can find thousands of attractive settings within the plant world and animal kingdom of Acadia National Park, such as majestically gliding seagulls. Loop Road was not constructed like a conventional highway. It was designed by the famous American landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted Jr. who crafted it to meet the special needs of this natural environment. It certainly does justice to the park's wonderful scenery. The road gradually leads to the top of the mountain and provides many picturesque views of the surrounding landscape. The top of Cadillac Mountain is 500 meters above sea level. It's a favorite sightseeing destination with Acadia's visitors. Cadillac Mountain is the highest point on the North Atlantic coast. After this, and located several thousand kilometers to the south, only Rio de Janeiro compares. Magnificent panoramic views offered by Cadillac Mountain symbolize the majestic character of Acadia National Park. In 1947, devastating forest fires destroyed large sections of the area that surround Cadillac Mountain. Several large homes and mansions were burnt to the ground. Although nature soon recovered from this disaster, and the forests began to flourish again, many of the park's proud old trees vanished forever. A cold, strong wind frequently blows from the Atlantic across Cadillac Mountain's numerous rock formations. Scant vegetation of this area is quite surprising, especially as it is in such close proximity to the nearby forests. During the Indian summer, 
the treetops become illuminated by the warm end of summer sunlight. The colourful magic of the leaves and the brilliant skies create a radiant sight for all those who come here. Further down, a tremendous array of beautiful flowers captivates the eye. Occasionally, small and somewhat improvised fragments of art can be found lying on the ground. During the past century, Mount Cadillac has developed into one of the park's major attractions. At the beginning of the 20th century, the whole region started to develop as a tourist destination. Once a small fishing village in the 1920s and 30s, Bar Harbour soon became extremely popular as a summer retreat for New England's elite. Loop Road is almost 45 kilometers long. Owing to the diverse features offered by this route, it's best to take it at a leisurely pace. Acadia National Park covers an area of more than 142 square kilometers and it has become a very popular destination for nature lovers in the northeast of the United States. The original meaning of Indian summer goes back to the Native American Indians. The Indians believed that the red colour of the leaves was the blood of the animals they hunted. Traditionally, fall is the main hunting season. Because the region's animals grazed extensively prior to the onset of winter, hunting was usually at its peak during the last days of fall. One Indian legend has it that the strong red colour of the leaves symbolizes the blood of a hunted bear. But it could be that seafarers of old may have been the ones to have first introduced the term Indian summer. For it was in this season that the sailing ships of the past that journeyed to the Indian Ocean were loaded with their cargo.
Loop Road cuts deeper into Acadia's forests. The park's roads and pathways are extremely well marked and so even in this vast region it's difficult to lose your way. A closer look at the details of blossoming nature is rewarding. It seems as though the world of insects, along with this spider, is keen to add to the beauty of the vegetation. Amazingly, artistic spiders' webs cover complete bushes. A seagull floats tranquilly in the air, a reminder of the nearby North Atlantic. The rivers and lakes in the interior are significantly quieter than the powerful surf of the ocean. In this tranquil atmosphere, incredible picture book reflections can be seen in the calm water. And in many places, there are traces of beaver. The population of these animals is gradually on the increase. During September, when the first so-called leaf reports are announced in the newspapers and on television, there's an air of excitement. The beginning of the Indian summer is the time of the leaf peepers. Whether they travel here by car, foot, horse and carriage, or by way of a rented mountain bike, visitors to Arcadia's beautiful forests have a wide selection of leaves from which to choose. During fall, the red and orange of the maple trees and the gold and yellow hues of aspen and birch trees melt together in a breathtaking carpet of colour that seems to cover the entire country. Apart from the leaf peepers, 
fast-moving and cute squirrels are among the most familiar faces in this region. Both visitors and local inhabitants adore these cute creatures that are closely related to the squirrel. The various myths, legends and fairy tales that are associated with the Indian summer are also very popular. The diversity of colour on the leaves and plants is the result of the park's combination of warm days and cold nights. Once the production of chlorophyll comes to an end, the true colour of the leaves manifests itself. Throughout each fall, this fascinating phenomenon slowly moves from the north of Maine southwards to Massachusetts and Rhode Island. It is a proven fact that man inhabited the forests of Acadia National Park over 5,000 years ago. This magnificent phenomenon, with all its warm, vibrant colour, sometimes continues until the end of November. The Indian summer is usually followed by an icy winter, with heavy snowstorms that reach deep into the USA. Loop Road continues through the picturesque forests and superb features of this exceptional nature park. Those who are unable to rent a house on Mount Desert Island can instead stay in one of many well-appointed hotels or guest houses. Close to the park's major roads, it's easy to find a tranquil place in which to observe and marvel at the wonders of nature. disturbs the foliage of the trees, moving branches and twigs, and creates a theatrical performance of pure nature. hotel rooms and cottages in advance saves a lot of time and frustration. During the Indian summer it's vital. 
This is the high season of the year, with leaf peepers arriving from all over the country. The enchanting landscape rewards its visitors with all of its treasures. And captivating reflections in a pond are similar to impressionistic paintings. Water stirs as fish swim to the surface. In a relatively small area, nature in the Acadia National Park has created a marvellous patchwork of landscapes. Each element combines to produce a kaleidoscope of both colour and texture. many visitors take home a myriad of memorable experiences. Each scene is like that of a picture postcard. The growing popularity of Bar Harbour is testament to this. Travelling the final miles of Loop Road, the journey through Maine's magnificent autumn forests slowly draws to a close. The unique and awe-inspiring wonders of nature in the northeast region of New England are complemented by the breathtaking red of a romantic and dreamlike sunset.